Eva Melek. Supplies flow north as torrential rain causes floodwaters to rise again. Victoria explodes into flames as the state records its hottest day ever. Neighbour in hospital after gate crashes go on a stabbing rampage. That's when they've come out with knives and just ran at everyone. Kari's hopes of another title fade. Good evening. Essential supplies are being flown to Queensland's flooded north with preparations for more flash flooding and king tides. Ingham residents are resigned to the fact the town may go under again tonight. Reporter Phil Wilmington has been watching locals prepare for a new flood peak. Andrew, in Ingham, their worst fears are being realised. The floodwaters are coming back. It's heartbreaking because they'd only just begun cleaning up after the first flood earlier this week. Ingham about to go under once more after the worst flood in 30 years. Just days later, another one on the way. Uh, things don't look very good up here at all. It truly is double trouble. The flood water is expected to peak tonight and worryingly high. No, the, the river is expected to peak later today um, at about the, the similar levels to the earlier in the week of about 12 point. Meters. In fact, many locals are preparing for the worst, believing this flood will be even worse than the last. As long as everyone can keep a smile on their face and yeah, no one loses their lives, that's, a, that's the main thing. A graphic illustration of how the water's rising again. Two teenagers had to be rescued by helicopter after walking out of town on a dry road. Well, we were just walking out to my mate's place and <laughs> the water just rose up on the side of the road pretty quick. The town had just begun cleaning up. It's a cruel reversal of fortune. Devastating, really. Uh, but the boats and that ready to go again, I suppose. Also of concern, the king tides they're predicting over the next few days. They'll only make it even harder for the floodwaters to get away. Ingham's best hope is that the monsoon rains will begin moving further south. In Brisbane, 50 tonnes of essential supplies were loaded to be airlifted to Cairns, which is still isolated. The Innisfail region received heavy falls overnight. Popular Paranella Park turned into a raging spectacle. In North Queensland, Phil Wilmington, Nine News. While North Queensland struggles through near-record flooding, southern states are sweltering. Melbourne has recorded its hottest day ever and bushfires.